Welcome back to Let's Play Alan Wake 2. I'm Burning Dog Face, and we're here in Cauldron Woods, where, uh, last time I finally got this damn box open. Feels good to have the screwdriver. Uh, this time we're going to keep looking around the woods for treasures and secrets and, uh, see what we find. Before I set out of this circle. Uh, shout out to Torek00, who left a comment on, uh, I believe it was episode 75, the one I entitled Enough, which was the one where I finally gave up on completing the, uh, you know, s uh, search the flooded area optional mission that we're pretty sure bugged out. Uh, the comment goes, The title of this video seemed so innocuous when I first saw it, but after seeing the effort you put forth to get to this point, it feels like a lead weight. All I can say, BDF, is I appreciate the thoroughness, and I'm sorry it didn't pan out. And I just wanted to say, thank you. That, uh, that really helps, actually. And, uh, Torek left another comment, saying, uh, One last thing on the Not a Chance episode. I would have loved it if after one of those dark migraines, that's a great term for it, by the way, Alan had, everything blinked and Alan had a completely different loadout. Less health, full batteries, and extra shells with no explanation. That would be great! You know, the, the big instigating event in the first game was a car accident, and then Alan wakes up in the car seven days later. Oh no, that's right, yes, he dives into the lake and then wakes up in, uh, in a crashed car seven days later, so it's even more confusing. So yeah, just having missing time would certainly uh, be in keeping with this story. There should be a thing just over there! Fuck, here they come. Oh, it's one of the glowy ones, the flashing ones. I don't know what's up with that. General Store! The boxes! Fuck. Nope! Hi there! What the hell? The light didn't do anything to him. I hate that. Did your buddy drop anything? Whoa, bullets. Four. Of all the lines you had to pick, you had to go with it's already too late, seriously? The Cauldron Lake General Store! There we go! Well, now there's less monsters. And he dropped bullets too, so I got to make up for some of the ones I just used. If someone finds that body, they're going to be really confused how this guy got shot in the chest five times in the sternum, and uh, those weren't the fatal injuries. This looks like a job for the screwdriver! Like I'm a fucking superhero or something. Ah, shotgun shells. Mm, delicious. What the hell is that? There was there's a light up there. A flickering one. What am I pointing at? Holy shit, I think I can see the other break room from here. I'm pointing directly at the witch's hut. I think it's flickering because the trees are moving in front of the window. That's awesome. Oh, uh it's right there, if you're looking. It's actually less visible right now. Where to now, me? Uh, well, now we do an about face, because I wanted to check out these rental cabins over here. We already looked in this private cabin, which should be just here. Oh, fuck, there it is. It was much shorter than I thought it was. Can 
I not been in here? Or did I just close the door behind me, as, as I am wont to do? Let's find out. We'll read these things on the wall. Oh, look at that! It's camping do's and don'ts, except I can actually look at it and have it come up, and I don't have to lean forward and squint at the screen. Oops. Guests, Miriam and Matt. Oh, I get it! These are the guests who rented the private cabin. It's like the, 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 the log book at a, a bed and breakfast. Guests, Miriam and Matt. Thanks for the lovely hike. Patty, came down from New York, from NYC, and loved every minute of the trip. Lori and Bob, these paths have seen better days. Kev, nice views you got here. Mr. Lockhart, may I suggest adding some nice rest stops along the way? I, I do like how if you actually look at the paper, they're all in different handwritings and with different pens. Like, I think Mr. Lockhart there used a pencil. Uh, I'd say Kev has the best handwriting. I don't actually think I've been here before. That didn't sound at all familiar. Yeah, that seems uh, like a good idea. Just put the sleeping bag on top of the cot, because the cot doesn't seem very comfortable, but, you know, sleeping bag on the ground is, uh... Well, you don't rent a cabin if you want to put a sleeping bag on the ground, you know? Oh, fuck me! There's a nursery Another one right time. here. Why didn't I hear the... The equipment isn't making noise. Okay. <clears throat> A mother crow sits in her nest, guarding her babies, doing her best to protect her home from the beast coming to feast. But only a hero brave of heart can keep the two apart. Okay. A uh, mother crow sits in her nest. Da, 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 da. Crow goes in tree. I don't either that or mother goes in house. Crow doll, tree. Uh, the beast coming to feast. Only a hero brave of heart. Where would I put the monster? Maybe I don't need to. Maybe I can just put the the, uh, the hero on the heart. No, no, there is a third step. Mother Crow sits in her nest. No! Guarding her babies! The, the chick peeking out of the egg. That's where the crow goes. Oops. Crow. Jesus, you don't want to make a mistake like that. Let's put the monster one down by mistake. Uh, we're just lucky that uh, Saga's ability to affect reality isn't as strong as her ability to resist changes to reality. I guess to protect her home from the beast coming to feast. Let's put the, the monster on the house. Nah. <laughs> Monster on eye? <sighs> well, all I'm left with is monster on tree. Thanks, Saga. Okay. Mother Crow sits in her nest, guarding her babies. Check. Doing her best to protect her home from the beast coming to feast. Wait, is there a... Well, I could make it wolf, as opposed to... It says beast, not monster. There we go! Except when it's wolves, they tend to actually appear, so... Fuck me, I'm always right. I hate when I'm always right. Hey, look! A generator. I'm gonna do this right now before they get here. And we have a new save point. That's, uh. One, two. Oh, there was a third one over here. Whatever. Oh! I think it might be in the Witchfinder station. Right, you little fucks, where are you? Oh, that's weird. I didn't notice the uh, the thermos last time. I hate the huh. The shoebox must have been perfectly blending in with its background. Actually, it would be really funny if you went in there and you'd see uh, Ati putting down the thermos and the shoebox and say, "Oh, you're usually not this close." I 
I don't think they can get in here past the log I had to duck under. It's a weird mechanic. No, me, that's just a shadow. You're jumping at shadows, and you're not even playing as Alan, so that's unacceptable. On second thought, let's get a bit uh, less medieval. Oh, for God's sake. I'm out in the open! Oh, I hear it tearing flesh. It's eating something. I hate this. Or then I will grab the things. So I'm not actually sure uh, Saga is going to remind me. Hero, wolf, crow. I'm just gonna find a fucking wolf eating an omelette. Oh, I'm also hearing a crow. That's right. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, gate. Great. I got a rifle with your name on it. It says Big Stupid Wolf. on the fucking ground. Is it above me or something? What the hell? Look at that. Another charm. Okay! I feel worse about that than I do about the people. Yeah, there's a, a birdhouse shaped like a barn here. And it's been knocked out of the tree. I guess the idea is that the beast won. What was that, anyway? Kalavala Knight's Charm. Increases hand flares duration and area of effect. Because they think they're resisting the dark, I guess. It's shaped like a motorcycle, for the record. In case you can't see that. I feel bad for uh, shooting it in this pond. It's going to get all gross. I mean, it's always going to get all gross, but it's immediately going to get all gross. And it's going to make the water all gross. In fact... I'm reminded of a tip for owning a cat. You don't put their food dish and their water dish right next to each other. That sparkle is really bright now. Yeah, uh... Yes! Uh, uh, a cat's instincts come from living in the wild, right? So... What? The A prompt doesn't do anything. Okay. Uh, there, it's, it's on one of these uh, pole po po boxes, Justin. Um, yeah, just a bug. Yes, so a cat's instincts are wired to think of its food source as a dead body and its drinking source as like a pond or something. But you don't drink the water from a pond that has a dead body in it because it'll be all filled with disease and blood and, ch and all kinds of horrible gunk. So, a cat's instincts are to not want to drink from the same place that they're eating, even if what they're actually eating is kibble. And even if what they're actually drinking out of is a pristine bowl. You just se physically separate them, and they feel better about it. And now I've just gone ahead and polluted that thing for as long as it takes the body to totally decay, and I feel bad about that. There's nothing I can do about it. It's not like I can fucking drag wolf bodies around like I'm Agent 47 or something. I, I don't know that he can do that, because there's no animals to fight in his games. Oh, wait! Yes, I do! The very first game at a level in the jungle where you could get attacked by a fucking jaguar. Oh, 
Okay, uh, private cabins. First of all, I head across the stream. And I'll make my way back to the general area of the witch's hut by following this path. I like how naturally the uh, the motion is as she draws her uh, service weapon. Like that's a little bit awkward, and she gets the rifle out. Like you, like she's not used to using a hunting rifle on the job. Another one of these Archie branches, as I called it last time. But that that was smooth. I really wasn't expecting this game to be so long. I thought it had been done, like, last month. I mean, you guys aren't even going to see this episode until January 1st. Happy New Year, by the way. Here's hoping 2024 goes swimmingly for all of us. Uh, no pun intended. Disclaimer, do not go swimming in Cauldron Lake. You will die. Pretty sure I've been out here. Yeah, 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 there's an open uh, lunchbox here. Which one is this? I don't remember this, but I'm pretty sure I have seen this before. You know, given that it's open and all. I looked down at the rippling water. The moonlight danced over each and every little wave, a marching band of shimmering light. Lonely and cold, I hugged myself inside. I thought of him. Then the surface of the lake calmed, and like a spectral surprise, he was there. His face, smiling up at me, reflected in the water. I looked up, not daring to believe it was true, but it was true. He was there. My love, my savior, my writer. For just a second there, when I zoomed in, I thought she typed that out in uh, Comic Sans and MS. The most universally loathed font in the world, and honestly, I don't know why. Holy crap, I was right. I can see that shimmer. It's actually on the window. Whoa! Where'd you come from? Oh, fuck! That's at least three of them. Okay, they know I'm here. No, no, no! Fuck! I meant to put that right between those two guys, but I only caught the guy in back. Oh, fuck, and it's a giant! Oh! Even flinch, I'm using the rifle! Oh! That was a dead end. That was a dead end. kill one by shooting him in the chest. That never happens. Oh, wow. Saga's really limping. She does not enjoy being this low on health, and she's swaying as I'm standing still. And I'm back down low on fucking bullets. Okay, uh, I'll use my last first aid kit, because holy shit, that was a lot. There we go. I mean, I wanted you to keep in mind that 
It was this fast guy, uh, one of the, they called them giants, but he's really like, you know, 6'5". Uh, and the third guy, who could have been anything, was uh, that I took out with a rocket immediately. I almost died and I immediately took one of them out. <sighs> and now it's cannon. Thank goodness. Where next? Where next? Yes, okay, I need to make my way... I need to go behind the general store. Oh no, I can just turn! Yes, yes, duh. Go up here. Oh, I do remember this part. Yeah, this is, uh... Oh, there's that station. Oh, there was two things of, uh, staircases. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. Alright, I am on the same page as I thought I was. Good! But I should probably call it here all the same. You know, save point and all that. I'm Burning Dog Face, and I will see you on the next episode of Let's Play Alan Wake 2. Our journey through the night is hardly over. And, uh... Well, there's no one I'd rather have with me than you guys. So! Until next time, drink your coffee, take care of your friends and your families, have a happy new year, and stay, whatever you do, in the light.